The Funk Heritage Center of Reinhardt University is located on the Reinhardt campus in Waleska. The center has been designated as Georgia's official frontier and southeastern Indian interpretive center by the Georgia legislature. It's also a National Park Service Trail of Tears interpretive center. The Funk Heritage Center opened in 1999 and is named for Dr. James Funk, an orthopedic surgeon who was a member of the Reinhardt Board of Trustees. He and his wife, in addition to the John Bennett family, funded the center. The museum has approximately 9,000 visitors each year. When entering the center, you are in the Childry Family Grand Lobby. This was designed to look like a longhouse. A longhouse is a Native American communal home shared by many families. The centerpiece of this room is a historic southeastern Indian cypress canoe, which is over 400 years old. It washed up on a river near Woodbine, Georgia, also near Savannah, after Hurricane Hugo in 1989. During 2015-16, staff raised over $150,000 to preserve and exhibit artifacts excavated at a 1999 excavation in Cherokee County in the History Log site near where the Canton Walmart is now located. Hickory Log was the name of one of eight Cherokee Nation districts in the 1800s. Donations were used to have artifacts from the excavation preserved at the University of Georgia Laboratory of Archaeology. The remaining funds were designated to sign and install new exhibits that include Hickory Log artifacts. Two new exhibits opened in the Hall of Ancients on September 30, 2016. Life Along the Etowah and History Beneath Our Feet both include artifacts from the archaic, woodland, Mississippian, and historic periods. Visitors are completely surprised when they walk into the cellar's gallery of historic hand tools. There they find one of the largest collections of hand tools in the country. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Funk Heritage Center in Cherokee County. It's open to the public every day but Monday and special holidays. Throughout the year, various special programs and history lectures are held. In addition, teachers register for curriculum-based field trips for elementary and middle school students. Volunteers are guides for these programs and living history programs in the Appalachian settlement. Ladies in pioneer dress welcome students into 1840s log cabins. A blacksmith and other craftspeople demonstrate their crafts. The center offers guided tours for groups of 15 or more adults and children. For more information about the center, please check our website, reinhardt.edu slash funkheritagecenter or call 770-720-5970 for information.